Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matty with the Toasty Bros, and today we're doing a $2,000 MSRP gaming PC. Azrock was nice enough to sponsor this build, send over a graphics card, and also help us get an 11900K, and we're also gonna be using one of their motherboards. This motherboard comes packed full of features, including support for 10th and 11th gen Intel processors like the 11900K we have here, including Wi-Fi 6E, support for PCI Gen 4 SSDs, a built-in graphics card holder to help reduce graphics card sag, and also a 2.5 gigabit LAN for faster networking. ASRock is an awesome place to go get your motherboards and graphics cards if you can't pick them up. And we really like all the options they have for Intel processors. So stay tuned to later on today's video during the benchmarking section and we talk more about how awesome this motherboard is and how it pairs well with the 11900K. How we not waste any more time and dive into this PC build. So I know a lot of you guys have probably had some controversy or heard about this new processor, but this is the Intel 11900K. So overclockable eight core 16 threaded processor. The reason you get a lot of controversy is because, well, the one before this, the i9 was a 10 core 20 thread. Well, supposedly they got some strong cores in this one. And this is, this is cool. You got like this weird, like Intel prism box you can see from every <laughs> angle. But uh, I believe that this is it. This is the i9. So let's go ahead and get her open. Check it out. Let's break it on camera. Let's break am it. I right? Am I right? Looks just like any other processor. Yeah, it does. It does look like any other processor. 1100K. They should have added like some cool graphics here, you know, sure. like the Avengers theme or something. But uh, yeah, the box was really cool. I don't even know if I'm supposed to like take this stuff out, but just I think you're just, you're just breaking it at this point. But uh, yeah, we're excited though to test out this processor. Um, we actually recently upgraded Matt's PC with the 1900K we had. Um, so it'll be fun to see if this 1100K, especially in gaming, I'm pretty confident it's going to be a lot better. But for most multi-core task and whatnot, who knows? Now for the cooler, we decided to just really go all out with Deepcool in this one. This is the Assassin 3, and this is a huge, I mean like, I don't know, probably one of the biggest air coolers you can get. Uh, we have two giant fans uh, built into here, TDP up to 280 watts. So like you could have thrown this on one of those old, uh, you know, crazy like FX builds or something, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, massive air cooler, probably gonna be on par with a lot of the liquid coolers out there just because it's it's so big. Um, hopefully it's gonna fit in this case. That, that'll be a fun uh, thing to figure out. So yeah, Assassin 3. Now for the motherboard, once again, big thanks to ASRock. We have the ASRock Z590 Extreme Wi-Fi 6E. I don't even know what Wi-Fi 6E is. <laughs> I know Wi-Fi 6, but not 6E. So it it's crazy, it blows my mind. I'm sure that this is a pretty expensive motherboard because it just looks extremely high-end. We have all this RGB on the back. We have extreme written in RGB. We have a built-in IO shield with a nice IO cover. Um, I mean, we have M.2 lanes that are covered and everything. It's just a really nice looking board. So um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. It even has the extra eight pin for the CPU because we all know this i9 is gonna want it. Now for the RAM, we have from PNY the Accelerate 32 gig, 32 megahertz RGB. We don't often do 32 gigs, but when you're using an 11900K and something as crazy as a 6700 XT, you kind of have to go all out with the build. So pretty excited to be using this stuff in the build. It's white, so it's gonna have like a nice offset with all the black inside of the case. And yeah. And yeah. yeah. Now for the SSD, this part's pretty awesome because this board supports Gen 4 as well as the processor. So we have the PNY Accelerate Gaming Gen 4 one terabyte NVMe SSD. Uh, awesome giant heatsink on it. So we're actually gonna have to remove one of those nice looking heat sinks that they have built in on the motherboard. Uh, but a terabyte of storage is gonna be enough, you know, to get Warzone and like one other game. I mean, <laughs> what more could you possibly need? But uh, yeah, I'm excited to use one that looks this beefy. I don't think we've really used one that has a massive heat sink like this yet. So um, pretty crazy read and write speeds, uh, speeds that I have not yet seen. So this will be fun. Fast. And also from our sponsor, ASRock, this is their 6700 XT. This is the Phantom Gaming Edition. It has a nice RGB fan on it, a bunch of RGB accents. This thing is really baller. It's really hard to get 6700 XTs right now, I'll be honest with you. But if you're able to pick one of them up, this is definitely a contender for one of the best looking ones that you get on the market and can definitely handle 1080p, 1440p gaming with no problems whatsoever. And uh, yeah, very excited to be using it. Now for the power supply. We went really high end with this one. This is the FSP Hydro PTM Pro power supply. 850 watts, more than enough power for this build and pretty much any GPU upgrade you wanna do in the future, maybe minus 3080, might wanna go a little bit higher, but it probably would be fine. Uh, very high quality power supply from FSP that makes some really high quality units. We definitely paid a premium for it, but for a PC of this caliber, why not spend some extra money, get a really awesome power supply. 
And last but certainly not least is the Deepcool Matrix 70, which is their bigger version of like the Matrix 55, which has all those RGB fans in it. Looks super nice. Three RGB fans in the front, one regular fan in the back. We're probably gonna be throwing in the CF 140s on the top as long as they support it. We think it does. We did some mental math here and we think it actually supports it, but if not, probably not gonna use it. But this is an awesome case from Deepcool. Really nice build quality. It will be great to keep this uh, 11900K nice and cool and will match our overall aesthetic that we're going for. So how will we not waste any more time and put this thing together. Now that we have this $2,000 gaming PC all booted up and ready to go, let's talk about a couple benchmarks real quick. Now we decided to test this PC in a couple of titles, those being Fortnite, Call of Duty Cold War, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and Rainbow Six Siege. First up in Fortnite, we were experiencing some weird bugs that I didn't notice in any of the other games. We were having some weird stuttering running on pro settings at 1080p, but after doing some optimizations to the RAM, it did settle out and we got an average of around 300 plus FPS. The 11900K is really strong stretching its legs here, showing its IPC improvements. Of course, the 6700 XT is, well, not the highest in graphics cards you can go with for something like the 11900K, but it does balance out really well, and I think the performance that you get in a game like Fortnite really shows how powerful this new Intel CPU is. The beauty of this new 11 Gen platform is the ability to have Gen 4 support, which is really awesome if you want to have some blazing fast SSDs for content creation, and also these CPUs are readily available. That's really hard to say right now from some of the competition on the market, so having the ability to pick up these CPUs right now and motherboards is a big plus. Next up in Call of Duty Cold War on max settings, we got well over 160 plus FPS. Call of Duty Cold War is not an easy game to run on max settings, and we were easily able to do that on this GPU CPU combo. The 6700 XT is a great value when you can actually pick it up. You can max out pretty much any AAA title you want to, like Call of Duty Cold War. You can definitely play games like Warzone at really good frame rates as well. So if you're somebody who's looking to play those games, this configuration might be one you want to keep on your short list. Next up is our AAA benchmark of choice, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and on the highest preset, we averaged 144 FPS. If you're somebody who likes to play single player titles like, let's say, Cyberpunk or Shadow of the Tomb Raider, or any other newer AAA title, this gaming PC would have absolutely no problems maxing it out and getting over 100 plus FPS at 1080p, and you can easily stretch into 1440p if you want to, if you want a higher visual quality experience. 
And last, but certainly not least, is Rainbow Six Siege, which is a benchmark I decided to bring back just for the consistency of testing all our systems across the board, and it's a good example of an esports title that's a little bit more graphically demanding, and on highest settings, we got over 300 plus FPS of the built-in benchmark, so you could easily play 240Hz 1080p with this setup, or as I mentioned before, 1440p 144Hz is honestly one of my favorite monitor options out there on the market, and this PC would absolutely slay any game you want at that resolution and refresh rate. So overall, I'm incredibly happy with this PC build. I'm very happy that Azeroth allowed us to do this PC and featured the 11900K with their 6700 XT. Special thanks again to them for sponsoring this video. How about going to bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick. So as you guys probably guessed, this PC performs subpar, okay. I mean, it could have been, no, I'm just kidding. This is an amazing PC. And obviously with how much money you're spending on the 11900K and this amazing graphics card, you're pretty much gonna be able to max out every game that you throw at it, no problem. And of course we have to give a big thanks to Azrock for making this possible by sending over the graphics card and motherboard and also that Intel CPU, thanks for that. I was really impressed with how this thing performs for the money. I mean, yeah, it's really expensive, but it does work really well together. So overall, I'm very happy with this PC built for the money. If you wanna purchase any of this stuff in today's video, Link in the description down below. They will be affiliate links and they will help us out. So consider using them. Let us know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the 11900K, especially with the jump they took from the 10900K. And don't forget to check out our other YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So Matt, I have a question. This PC is kind of cool. Can I buy it from you? You might be able to. Over at PCBros.Tech is where we sell most of the PCs we build here on the channel. So if you want to pick this PC up, it may have a different graphics card. PCBros.Tech. Check it out. Goodbye. Did you like that on the spot, dead spot?